Good morning, second grade. This is Mrs. O'Brien live from her front yard. And I'm going to share with you today the monarch caterpillars that I collected out of my butterfly garden. Here is one right here. He is eating away at his favorite plant. It's called the milkweed. I have milkweed. Those are your host plants. And I also have nectar plants for the butterflies. Those are two main plants I should have in my garden. So the butterflies will eat from the nectar plants and then they will lay their eggs usually on the host plant, which is the milkweed, because once those eggs hatch, it immediately gives the little baby caterpillars something to eat. And they will continue to chew these leaves off. They'll, they'll just literally destroy an entire plant. So I have plenty of them. There's one over here. He's eating too. They're just going to town on these leaves. And once they get big enough, in a couple weeks, there's another one in there, they will crawl either to a branch or in this case, they're crawling up the sides of the cage so that they can secure themselves and prepare themselves for the next stage, which is the pupa stage where they start to form their chrysalis. Now this little guy, if I can angle this camera just right, you can see all of the um, silk threads that they shoot out to attach themselves. And once they're secure, they will start to form a J shape. This little guy a minute ago was in a J shape. So I have a feeling he is just about to form his chrysalis. There he goes. I actually have a video from start to finish of one going from the larval stage to the pupa stage, but I'll have to share that with you later. But what they do is they completely shed that yellow, black, and white skin until all that's left is this chrysalis. Which is also called the pupa stage. And here's another one that attached himself to a branch. Another chrysalis. And inside that chrysalis, there is a metamorphosis taking place, which means they're completely changing into a butterfly, into a beautiful butterfly. So that'll happen in about 10 to 14 days. And then I will come back and take another video so we can see those butterflies. We can see them go through their entire life cycle change of caterpillar, well, of egg to caterpillar to pupa, which is the chrysalis to the butterfly so that, that butterfly can be released and start that whole life cycle all over again all right i miss you guys be safe and i will share these butterflies once they hatch